Taylor gets ahead to Briscoe. Briscoe can't keep it in, and it goes the way of Tottenham on this occasion. Gorman, John Gorman, the assistant manager at Tottenham. Remember him in his playing days with Tottenham. Stan Turner looking very, well, serious at the moment, shall we say. Iverson. And Ferdinand on that far side. It goes the way of Tottenham. And Ferdinand will leave it for the fullback, Stephen Carr. And he's, in fact, is going to leave it as well. A long throw specialist, um, reasonably long anyway. Taylor's back defending. Corner ball given on that far side then for Tottenham. Oh. Carr stepped up to take this one. With all the uh, big boys going up for Spurs. In. Oh, a goal. That was. Pretty mean stuff there. Poyet as the scorer at number 14, and that's on 16 minutes for Tottenham. Early goal for the visitors. We were talking before and said that he was a threat in the air, was uh, Gustavo Poyet. It meant that like a bullet. The cross was perfect delivered. He got the first run, I think, on the defender and fired it in. Nothing Beresford could do. 1 0 down. It's a bit of a struggle now, as they say. And just as we're beginning to come more into the game. 1 0 lead. Oh, it's a good play uh, from Etherington. A good cross from him and Iverson shot, and that's way over the top. <laughs> Iverson, well, he really got a first time effort there. Well, he plays it square here. This is Grant for Robbie Blake. Robbie Blake squares it up for Taylor. Taylor looks and goes back here for West, who's usually on a forward run, he's Dean West. And Blake again for Burnley, former Bradford striker. Hits it left-footed, but uh, not enough power as Casey had that one covered all the way. Burnley back in possession with West. Grant. Weller. Come on, man. And there's a lot of tripping in there. Hacking away at the, Bur at the Burnley feet there. The referee not seeing much about that either. Well, Glenn's only been on a minute and already he's been involved in it. We've had our first spell of really sustained possession. Yeah, good possession as well, but uh, Tottenham feel a little bit threatened by probably Glenn Little's appearance. Across to Taylor! Oh, how on earth did that go with Taylor at the back post there? Led down the line for Robbie Blake here. With the big man Gardner quickly on him. And Gardner looks and a good cross from Blake! And somehow Tottenham managed to clear that danger just outside the six-yard box. And Burnley putting the pressure on now. Yeah, and the crowd respond to a bit of possession, a bit of pressure. They don't want to be underdogs at home, although they are in effect. But that's great play by the Clarets over the last five minutes. Trying to drag themselves back into the game. And it all started or coincided with Glenn's introduction onto the pitch. Team West inside here for Weller. Weller operating on this right-hand side now as uh, we look on. A good ball in for West. West cross and Taylor lobs it down. A good shot, Mo. It's wide from Robbie Blake. Squares up for Little. Dangerous man that he is for the Clarets. Great ball in for Weller. Weller to the back post. Grant. Taylor. Well, it's the... well the shot was at the end poor from West, but... Uh, I thought Taylor was going to score that one, but Gardner blocked the situation for the international striker for Burnley. Three or four games, they've really fought hard up front and there haven't really been lack of goals for the Clarets, and this perhaps could be Little's chance again to get the ball in. And it's Robbie Blake! Goal! Yes! Oh, Burnley have drawn level. Robbie Blake, the scorer. Great performance, that one. What a piece. And I've got to say, you can't say that that's not been coming because in the second half, other than a shot a few moments ago, it's been all the Clarets. Glenn Little's been instrumental, but a nice turn. Robbie Blake, good skill, and hammered it into the far corner. Clarets won a piece. Can we go on from here? Well, 12 minutes into the second half, Robbie Blake blockbuster for the Clarets. 
and that has set the whole of Turf Moor alight, particularly for the Burnley fans. I'll just remind the crowd that we haven't won yet, it's offside. Oh. Counter-attack here, and that's wide. That is well and truly wide. Hands it down, uh, Robbie Blake again on that far side, the scorer of Burnley's leveller. He leads support, he's got two Tottenham men on him. He crosses, he's very versatile, a good, good effort, and Gardner right back to Weller on that right-hand side across, and that's a corner. Weller's cross, intercepted once again. Good stuff from Burnley. Yeah, corner for the Clarets, David. Good delivery required. The big lads have come up off the Noeri, Taylor, Steve Davis. And that corner will be taken by Little on the right-hand side. It's a good sailing one. Yeah. A goal! Steve Davis has put Burnley into the lead. Incredible! And we just mentioned the big lads had charged upfield. Arthur Nuiri, Steve Davis, and it was a latter who powered that in. No keeper would get that. And what a turnaround. They've come out, they battled out of the traps in the second half. 2 1 and greeted with a rousing chorus of Tomarks. 2 1 to the Clarets. Great stuff then. 16 minutes in the second half. And Steve Davis with an impeccable header from that corner from Glenn Little, giving Casey Keller no chance as he dived to his right-hand side. Great header. To Tottenham with Carr, and Tottenham having to go all the way back. Pressure from Weller as the ball intercepted by Robbie Blake now. Can Robbie Blake finish off and make it three? He's going through! Oh, he's in the post! Can you believe it? Could have... Uh, Finish this top Tottenham side off then with that one from Robbie Blake. Amazing stuff. And the Leeds heads it away. Over the head of Weller. Some very weary, tired Burnley legs out there tonight. But they have played so wonderfully well. We don't really want any extra time. We don't want penalties. We want it to be finished in normal. Well, there it is. The, uh, another shock has happened. Out go Tottenham of the Premiership and Burnley. March on to the fourth round of the Worthington Cup with Robbie Blake and Steve Davis doing the all-important, 